The Singapore Army has introduced its latest armored asset, a next generation vehicle that promises to be deadlier, faster, and safer than its predecessor. The Hunter armored fighting vehicle replaces the aging Ultra M113, and it is the Army's first fully digitalized platform. It was unveiled at a parade by Singapore's defense minister, who announced that it would make its public debut at the country's National Day parade. Fares Jiraimi reports. The hunter prowls the battlefield, looking for prey. Its all-round surveillance system means nothing escapes its sight. The hunter is armed to its teeth, with weapons like a 30mm cannon and anti-tank guided missiles. It's also faster and can travel longer distances. But the real hunt for enemies begins with its brain, inside what's called an integrated combat cockpit. Here, the vehicle commander and gunner can both operate the war machine. Using a common set of controls, each of them can also independently detect and engage targets. But perhaps more critically, the crew can identify and share target information with friendly forces with the Hunter's suite of network capabilities. The Hunter Armoured Fighting Vehicle is the centerpiece of our Army's next generation transformation. It is the first fully digitalized vehicle in our Army and it incorporates smart and digital technologies catered to our modern day soldiers who are increasingly tech savvy. The Hunter is also equipped with safety features such as emergency buttons that can immediately stop the vehicle or its turret. It was developed locally, although the Defence Ministry did not reveal the cost nor the size of the fleet. Beyond strengthening quality and safety, we implemented innovative design approaches so that the Hunter is easy to use and train and its maintenance cost is lower than existing armoured vehicles. While doing so, we also ensured that our systems are user-centric and data-enabled by design. Regulars and instructors are now learning how to operate the Hunter. And from next year, cadets and other combat units will follow suit, providing the Army with more bite on the battlefield.